What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to The Division 2. Today I want to talk about some of my favorite gear talents and weapon talents for World Tier 5. Now this could change. Things get updated weekly. We have, we've seen to have a lot of updates lately uh, that have nerfed or buffed things. So some of these may get kind of knocked down a notch. Some of them may improve. And some of the other uh, talents in game could get improved as well. Now these aren't all of the talents in game by any means. There's a lot of people that like different things. Kind of have to roll it to your play style how you want these weapons in gear talents to drop but these are some that I always keep my eye out for to either use or to roll off onto a piece of gear that I have so if you're newer to the game especially keep an eye out for these because you may want to use them so now for weapons I'm not really building crit chance crit damage anymore because that did get knocked back kind of put on the back burner with the last update so I'm going more for headshot damage elite damage uh, just pure weapon damage so the first thing I always look for is Optimist, which gives you 3% weapon damage for every 10% ammo missing. I have found a lot of ARs lately. I've been very lucky to get a lot of ARs with this on it. Optimist is one of my favorite weapon uh, kind of talents out there because it's just straight weapon damage. And it also seems to help if you're like me. Some people have a bad habit, as I do, of wanting to reload before they need to. They reload like after every kill, especially in multiplayer. Not necessarily in the division, but other multiplayer games I play, I'll get a kill and reload. So I have a bad habit of doing that in every shooter I play. Well, with Optimist, you definitely don't want to do that. You want to use every single bullet you have because you're getting 3% weapon damage for every 10% of that ammo missing. So always keep that in mind while using that. Another weapon uh, talent that I really like is Ranger. Every 5 meters you're away from a target or further away from that target, you get 2% weapon damage, which is a great bonus, in my opinion, on some slower firing weapons. I really like that one as well. Some things you can get in that second slot for a weapon is extra 20% magazine capacity. Now that the mags did get nerfed and you're not getting anywhere near the amount of uh, ammo you used to get, uh, extra is coming pretty handy now. You can get stable or accurate, which would give you 15% stability or 15% accuracy. A lot of people are building headshot builds and that stability or accuracy are, are big helps. And last but not least, Allegro, which gives you an increased rate of fire. And no matter what game you play, whether it be first person, third person, multiplayer, single player, if you can handle a weapon that has a fast fire rate, you're going to kill the targets you're shooting at a lot quicker, as long as it doesn't have a big drop off. So like an AR, an LMG with a faster fire rate is pretty brutal in this game, in PvE and PvP. Now for that last talent that I like to find on weapons is either stop, drop, and roll, which will give you burn bleed and poison uh, status effect removal every 60 seconds so you can just roll and get those things off of you or rooted while in cover your skill damage and healing is increased by 25 percent for 10 seconds now if you can get three of these that you really like on one weapon I, i'm glad for you it, it's hard to get these i've been getting a lot of optimists lately and nothing else or a lot of rooted lately or nothing else i seem to get one of whatever I need, and then I'm kind of stuck with, you know, I can go find something else to roll, but I'm stuck with one bad perk. But if you can get all three of these on any of these weapons, you're going to have a really good weapon once you kind of learn the way, learn the way you want to build your character and what kind of uh, talents that you would like. Now, getting into gear quickly, some of my favorites, and, and one that did get changed, and that was uh, Safeguard because it does have a cooldown on it. But Safeguard gives you 150% bonus to repairing and healing. Like I said, it does have a cooldown now, but I still feel that this has a lot of survivability to it, especially if you're a solo player. Uh, on the ropes, a lot of people are using this now. While your skills are on cooldown, you get a damage bonus, which is a big help. The only thing is you have got to run skills like Pulse and probably just a, a quick heal. That way you can put them both out, have everything on cooldown so you can get that weapon damage. The only thing I don't love about on the ropes is you have to continuously keep those skills on cooldown. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for on the ropes. Unstoppable Force is one of the best in game to me now. Killing an enemy uh, grants 2% weapon damage for every 10,000 max armor. So a lot of people are building more armor. Not as high DPS anymore like 5 or 6 uh, or you know, 3, 7, 7. Whatever the case may be. But building a lot more armor that way they can get that bonus damage all the time with Unstoppable Force. Because it does not have a long cooldown and it comes up pretty regularly. Um, Berserk, of course, more damage. You put out, you deal more damage for the more damage you take pretty much. The less armor you have, the more damage you are dealing. This is more of a glass cannon kind of build. This was my favorite in game when crit and crit, crit and crit damage were big. I've kind of gone away from Berserk and gone with Unstoppable Force lately, but Berserk is still really good. And last but not least, one of my favorite gear talents as of late has become Compensated. 
Now there is a catch catch to compensated, excuse me. Um, compensated, you only can have three DPS on your character. But if you do have three DPS or less, you gain 15% more damage when your critical hit chance is below 20%. So that's a good one to keep an eye out for if you're building more of a, a armor skill kind of build and less damage. That will help you gain some more damage. But those are some I just keep, uh, keep my eye out for for the different builds that I'm working with. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite talents are on weapons and gear. And of course, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.